responsibility to answer yeah. too. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how to open this shit. What's good? First of all, you all right? I'm a little pump. You a little pump on J. Cole. <laughs> What's good, man? How you feeling? Good. Yo, so there's people that's watching this right now that's probably like... They probably won't believe it. Yeah, they it's losing... Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> facts. They losing their mind. There's people that fuck with me that are probably like, why? And then there's also people that fuck with me that like probably don't even... Maybe you might not be aware like exactly who you are. You know what I mean? Because I yeah. feel like you coming up right now and like your name is spreading every day. When I watch your videos, when I first started seeing your videos, I was like, yeah. I'm buying it to the image. I'm like, yo, this little nigga's crazy. Like, yeah. he don't give a fuck. But as I started watching more of the videos, I was like, yo, this kid is smart. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't sure, yeah. but I was like, yo, this kid is smart. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the more I looked yeah. into the videos, I'm like, yo, he he knows more than what people might think he does, you know what I mean, or that his image portrays, so I wasn't sure, um, and we ended up speaking on the phone, yeah. somebody called my phone and you was there with them, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought you was trying to set me up or some shit, I'm like, yo, this he's 17, he's like a master troll, um, I think you wanted to FaceTime, right? Yeah. I was like, what'd I say? Like, you're like, nah, you a big ass troll, I can't pick up. <laughs> yeah. you don't put that shit on the internet. I'm like, nah. Because my album had just dropped like a week before that. Mm -hmm. And I thought if I uh if I FaceTimed you, I thought you would I thought you would just screenshot the shit, go right to Twitter, you know what I mean? And like keep running with it more. Uh, yeah. I'm like, nah, bro, like it ain't that serious. Like I, I can't yeah. talk to you, but I'm not ready for that yet. You know what I mean? Like with, what I say, I was like, yo, we'll, we'll figure out like yeah. something to do. So when I spoke to you on the phone, I'm just giving people the backstory because they, oh. I know I feel like people would be like, how did this happen? Um, yeah. So when I spoke to you on the phone, I'm like, damn, yo, he is smart. Like, I could tell just from talking to you on the phone, like you're smarter than what people know, what people might give you credit for. And I think you're smarter than like what you even put out there. You know what I mean? I got that yeah. from being on the phone with you. But you know, yeah. I was still like, yo, he's still my, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. So. Uh, when we met at Rolling Loud, it confirmed it. I was yeah. like, yo, he really like, are you 17? Yeah, 17. I'm like, yo, he's 17, like, and he's smart. You know what I mean? I felt like, you know, I was just talking to somebody I already knew. So I appreciated that. I appreciated the conversation we had. It was like 15 yeah. minutes, yeah. but I felt like it was good. And during the conversation, it was so natural that that's when I got the idea, like, yo, we should just do this exactly what we're doing right now yeah. on camera. And you was like, oh, I'm with it. Let's do it. So. Yeah. That's like the breakdown for people like that's probably wondering like what the fuck is going on. How the hell did it happen? Yeah. So, um, where where you think? I don't know what we should talk about, but I got just in case shit get weird, I got a list of shit that I can go to. But right. um, shit. You know, is there any? I mean, I can I can go somewhere, but is there anything you want to say like before we get started? You don't how'd have you, to. How, no pressure, bro. How'd you how'd you get started like rapping this shit? How'd, Me? Yeah. How you get to rapping? Um. Damn, I had that question for you, but yeah. I'll tell you mine first. I had a cousin mm -hmm. that, um, first rap I ever wrote, I ain't gonna lie, it was uh, Pac got killed in like 96. I was such a big Pac fan. Sure. I was in sixth grade and I felt like inspired, like man, like I'm supposed to say something. You know what I mean? So like I like wrote a whole rap that was like, oh just talking about his influence and his effect, you know what I mean? Cause like he was my first favorite rapper. Um, and, and when I was like six years old, my stepfather brought back a, a, a Pac album. He was, a, he was a, in the army yeah. and um, he was in Desert Storm, which was like, don't get me lying, but I think it was like Iraq or some shit like that. Like, you know, like one yeah. of those Desert Storm was like a big war in like 91 or whatever. Yeah. Um, and he was over there. And I just remember when he came back, he wasn't my stepfather at this time. He was just like my mom's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. When he came back, he had a few albums, and one of the albums was um, Tupac's first album. Mm -hmm. And like I, I like music at that time, like you know what I mean. Like I like yeah. Michael Jackson, Bobby Brown, like, yeah. um, and I like rap too. But like it was like more kid, you know. Like I was a little kid when he brought Pac. It was like he was the first rapper that like made me feel as a six year old had me feeling like I had been through the realest shit. Like things he was saying, I felt like way more than what I was supposed to be feeling. Yeah. Now I look back and I see it's like, yo, even at six, I had saw enough shit that made those words like resonate with me. But yeah. 
but um, so that's that's how long I had been like a Pac fan. Brenda's got a baby. It was like ah, oh, I could feel that story. I felt I felt all the emotion in what he was saying, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that like rap could like make you feel like that. So mm -hmm. so picture when he died five years later. I'm older. I'm in sixth grade. Yeah. It's the talk of the school, um, and I just felt inspired to like write a rap. That was my first yeah. rap. Two years, maybe a year and a half after that, um, my cousin came and spent the summer with us. He was like four years older than me. He was mad cool. If I was like 12, he was like 16. He had mad girls, he had jerseys, he had jewelry. And uh, and we played ball together all the time and just hung out all summer. But one thing he used to do was like just freestyle. And I used to be like, damn, this nigga just freestyling. Like, teach me how to do that. And he was just like, teach you how to do it. He was like, you could just do it. He's just like, you just say words, you know what I mean? And like rhyme So like, that's when I really started picking it up. Mm -hmm. um, was was from there, and I just took it way more serious after that. After he left, what about you? What was your first? I guess when you started rapping. Me, probably like a year and a half ago, like two. It was with um. Wait, a year and a half, <coughs> two years two. ago? Yeah, I just started. Nah, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah, like 2000, like went 18, like six, like 16. Damn. And in 2016. That's crazy. Yeah, basically like. Almost the same shit, but like I'll I'll just be freestyling next to you know smoke perk. Yeah, smoke yeah, perk. yeah, yeah. So that's your it, man. Yeah, like y'all grew up together. Yeah, that's crazy. My best friend. Yeah. So like basically, um, I like me and him would just be freestyling and shit, and then like in the car and shit smoking blunt, and then bro was like, man, you start rapping. I'm like, what? You start rapping? Fuck! Like all oh, that's right. Like just do it. You hard, and then I just started doing that shit. What you mean? So like, y'all was already freestyling. Type shit, but well, we ain't taking it serious. <clears throat> well, he was recording. I wasn't. Oh, so he was already like he had dreams and aspirations to already yeah. be a, to be a rapper. <clears throat> yeah, he started like a couple months before me, not mm -hmm. that long. And then y'all went to school was, together. Yeah. Okay, so he started. Yeah. My bad. He 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 started. Uh, he started a few months before you. And then what? Yeah, and then um, he got me into rapping, and then we just started doing that shit. We started blowing up out of nowhere. It was weird. It's crazy, we're like, damn, shit really happened. Bro, yeah. two years ago, bro? Yeah. Damn. This shit's crazy. But, you know, so just, so if I see, um, because i seen some videos of you and you just look, like, man. even younger than you do now. Huh. And that's, so you was like, what, 15 around that time? Or? Yeah, 15. Man. I'm 17. But yeah, I would, I would be freestyling and shit around him, and then he was like, record that shit. I was like, all right, fuck it. Like, my first song was recorded, like, on headphones and a laptop. That's crazy. Like iPhone crib? headphones, yeah. It's just crazy. Who beat was it? Um, it was like a YouTube beat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. YouTube beat, and then <clears throat> YouTube beat, and then we just I just put that shit out, and then after I started recording like a little home studio in the garage. Just At his crib? Shit. Nah, my other boy's crib. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then that's what that's what I made my song, Little Pump. Per produced it, and that shit started going up. And I just kept going after that. That was one of it. your first uh, songs. Wait, you said it was Smoke Perk? Yeah, he, he's he, the rapper or uh, is a, a producer. My bad. Um, rapper, 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 rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he makes beats too. Okay. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. He was making beats even at that time, or is this something yeah. he just started? Yeah. Shit was crazy though, cause it it really happens quick, like the whole process. You mean like yeah. from when you started to like being right now? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's why I'm over here like kind of in shock because I can't even imagine like shit going that fast. You know what I mean? Like, did you feel like, damn, this shit like almost too fast? Or was you like, nah, this is right on time. Like, this is what I needed. This is what I needed type shit. Yeah. You know? like, man. I, like, I grew up, I didn't really have shit. So I was like, I got to like do some shit. I fucking got kicked out of school, all that bullshit. I was like. What grade was that? Like. When I first started kicked out, it was like seventh grade. I was like smoking weed in the bathroom and shit. <laughs> but then like, I got kicked out of all schools and I was in like 10th, 10th what grade. What happened in 10th grade? Like just fights and shit. Wow. Just bullshit. I kicked out like fuck. Was it like a white school, black school? Mm-hmm. Uh, both. Mixed? Like, hello. Mm-hmm. Like damn, that's kind of harsh. Like you that just kick somebody out of school. I don't know if that's, a, you know, <laughs> nah, yeah. I don't know if that's regular, but damn. Yeah. That don't, seem, that don't seem extreme to you? Yeah, you know, like people be looking at weed like it's crack or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> After they expelled you from school, like what did they expect you to do? Was it close to the end of the school year? Was it like? 
Oh no, it was like in the start, like the first two semesters. So what'd you do for the rest of the year? I was just like at home rapping, just like doing what I gotta do. You know? I started rapping and shit. And shit started going up, so like fuck it. Fuck the artist. Oh, this shit. is you talking about this is like tenth grade. Yeah. Oh my fault. I was thinking about seventh seven, grade. Oh no, yeah, seventh yeah. grade? Nah, I went to another school and then I just kept it going. Oh, but okay. After that. Yeah. What was your your parents was They were mad. Wait, cause we talked about it. I asked you this. I know, yeah. so they don't know. I asked you like, yo, yeah. first one of the first things I asked you when we got on the phone, I'm like, yo, like, are you cool with your moms? Like, and you and you and your moms are tight, right? Yeah, we're real cool. And your um, and your pops, pops too. Yeah, both of them. So, and your mom be out like with you on the road, right? Or like she travel, yeah. or she not on the road, like she coming to rolling loud at your shows, yeah. but like, <laughs> yeah. but like you keep her around, right? Like when yeah. you're in LA, she's around. Of course, yeah. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. So when you get kicked out of school in seventh grade, like what's her? What's her reaction? She was mad as fuck. Why? Like, was it because, did she already know you were smoking or was that shit a shock to her? Um, nah, I kind of shocked her because I don't think she knew. She knew because I, I was young as fuck at that time. I like, I like um, 14 or some shit, 13. Right. Yeah, yeah, seventh grade, yeah. that's like 12, 13. Yeah, I was like, fuck. And then, so did she, did she look at you like, um, like yo, that's my baby. Like that's like yeah, like like you would shit. never do nothing like that. Yeah, she was like, "What the fuck? Like, can we be doing this?" I'm like, "Man, this is weed. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> ain't no crazy shit." So, and was it seventh grade when you started smoking? Like uh, six. Sixth grade. So like, what led you to that? You know what I mean? To be in sixth grade, be like, "Yo, I'm just smoking weed already." <laughs> I I like had some homies that like fucking like I'll always be smoking and shit. Neighborhood or like, at the school? No, nah, like, like at school. Got it. So like, I see a solo on there, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, need to swim. like let me hit that shit. And then I got high as fuck. I was like, what the fuck? Then I smoked again, and I was like, oh, this shit ain't, ain't that bad straight. You, know, you got used to it. So your mom finds out, and she's and she's in disbelief, because it's like, damn, I didn't even know you was doing this. Mm -hmm. And you like, mom, it's not even a big deal. Like, just mm -hmm. relax. No. She like, what you mean? It's not a big deal. What the fuck you talking about? Was she like? Nah, yeah, she was on. Did she like get way more strict on you? Tight. She, was, she was mad because I would be getting in trouble in school. Like you know, some shit. Like always. So it'd be like, she she would be tripping because she didn't want me to drop out or whatever. But <laughs> that shit ended up happening anyways. Like she could see it coming. Yeah. Where your mom from? She from Miami too. Nah, she's she's Colombia. Oh, she's she's like straight from from Colombia. Yeah. She came here when she was a kid. Mm, nah, when she had my brother, I have a brother. How old? Uh, he's twenty one or twenty two, I think. Oh wow. What about your pops? Yeah. She met your pops uh, over there. Over there too. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you yeah, Colombian. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when did your parents split up? Like when I was like six. You remember that? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. So like you remember. Like Your parents Christmas being together. Too. It was Christmas? Yeah. When they split up or when they told you? No, when they split up. How long before your mom met your stepfather or like started bringing your stepfather around? Like two years, two years after. What did you think when he came around? Was it like... I ain't like that nigga. Right. That nigga. <laughs> right. Yeah. Why is that? Because bros is an asshole. From the jump? Yeah. He didn't try to like hit you with the polite uh, boyfriend shit? Nah. Fuck, What's man. your first memory? Oh man, niggas just like hella rude. I fuck with that nigga at all. He used to do like fucked up shit, you know. He's not around no more. Mm -mm. No. At all. He ain't around. Nigga, you know, step that shit. Nigga, be acting like dickheads. I don't even fuck with him. Yeah, I realized that as I got older. Like man, that shit. You, you had said that too, huh? Yeah. What was that? Um, it was weird looking back, like, I knew it was weird at the time, but it's like when you're a kid, at least the type of kid I was, it's like you just, you know, you be ignoring shit, yeah. try to like block shit out or whatever, but like when I look back, I just remember times being like mad, uh, wanting to do something, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Sometimes shit was good though. I don't know if it was like that in your house. But yeah. It was like sometimes like yeah. shit be mad peaceful. They look good. like they in love. Shit yeah. be feeling good in the house. 
You know what I mean? It should be like, all right, let's just keep this shit like this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I like to see her happy. I like to see him happy. Right. Everybody good? My brother, you good? Yeah. I'm good? Cool. But like when shit got turbulent, it start feeling like, uh, like fuck, I just want this shit to end. Be over with, you know what I mean? Like go back yeah. to being good. Oh, yeah. Even though I knew like, deep down it's like, yo, this shit is not, this is not healthy relationship, you know what I mean? Like this is not healthy activity happening in this house. Like yeah. certain situations are happening where it's just like, yo, this is, you know, feeling like I'm too small to like really stick up for my mom. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That shit is like, yeah. shit is a trash feeling. But I didn't know. Um, yeah. I didn't realize till I got older that's like, yo, that shit was unhealthy. Like it really made me appreciate healthy stepfathers. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like dudes that come into a relationship. Not even just healthy stepfathers. Uh because I, I can't just put on my stepfather. Like I understand that my mother, because of what she went through in her life, like I understand that she was like in an unhealthy space herself to even allow herself to be in a position where it's like, yo, somebody putting their hands on her, somebody talking to her a certain type of way, somebody dogging her out, got bitches on the side, somebody mm -hmm. putting their hands on her kids. It's like, I understand that she had some healing to do herself to even put cool. herself in that situation. And he did too. But it just really made me look at, um, it made me realize how important of a job like being a stepfather is. Like, yo, if yeah. you if you if you get with a woman yeah. and she has a child, like, yo, you have a responsibility yeah. to like not put your shit that you that you got in you on this kid. You know what yeah. I mean? I just realized that. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I, obviously, I never thought about that before until I got older. Like, yo, that shit is a. a big responsibilities and I respect somebody that would like uh, love a woman so much that they get into a relationship with her even though she got kids Yeah, cause that's not an easy thing to do but when you take on that responsibility it's like yo you gotta do that shit you gotta do it and you gotta check yourself and you gotta like treat these kids how you would treat your own kids or even better because you know like you you they're vulnerable. Yeah. That's how I felt. Nah, yeah. Did you feel like that similar in a similar way? Yeah. You know, like Roy should probably look at he used to look at me like, man, you ain't gonna be shit. Like, you know, on that shit. I, Cause I always used to curse that nigga like, bro, you're a fucking bum or whatever. Like, <laughs> bro, you used to get on nigga, like, bro, you're a fucking bum. You had the same job for like fifteen years, like you ain't shit. Uh -huh. She get on his ass. Damn. And so, you know, what like, what made you say that? Like what what why was he like he'll always argue with me for stupid shit, you know. I like just smoking weed, like the house smell like weed, uh -huh. like retarded shit like that. And I used to get in arguments with my mom, and then you know, I used to get into it with him. But like, the house smelling like weed, like, don't you think if you was like how how old would you think he was? Thirty something, forty. Yeah, thirty something. You think if you was a thirty something year old dude and 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 you was living in a house, it was your house, you paying bills in the house. And you had a step kid that was like burning, burning down the house, <laughs> and had the shit smelling like weed. Like, don't you think you would be like, the fuck you doing? You know? Not really. I, I, nah. I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? Nah, cause I was blowing it down inside all the way. I was like, it would just smell like weed. Oh, like cause weed. you, cause, cause you smell like weed. Yeah. So could it possibly be that he? Cause you say he a piece of shit, and I'm not doubting that. I'm not disputing that. <laughs> I'm just trying to see, is there a side of your stepfather that you like, you know what? Like, he did give a fuck about me and maybe he was doing that shit from a place of concern or is it like, nah, I can't yeah, see that. Yeah, it's like, fuck that nigga still. <laughs> 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 I still don't fuck him, bro. I man, feel you. I don't, I don't know, man, it was just, yeah. he even told me straight up, like, I don't fuck my nigga, I don't fuck with you either, like, mm. fuck. It was like How did you feel when he said that? Like, you didn't give a fuck or nah, did it hurt? I ain't, nah, I don't give a fuck, fuck that nigga. I ain't, I ain't care that nigga either. Like, last time I saw him was when like, when, like we started arguing and I just put out a strap on him. And that's when like, the whole shit just ended. I remember you was telling me about that. Yeah, How? Was just, like he was arguing with me and he, like, he was trying to fight with me. I was like 16 at the time. 
Like, we're trying he's to a fight big dude. Year. Nah, nah, he's just a little bit fat. Like, look, he's a little bit chubby, but nah, he's not big. Yeah. But bro was just like, he was trying to get into him. He's like, what's up? I'm like, what up, nigga? And I put a strap and I aimed that shit at him, bro. Just spooked, he ran inside. Sheesh. What, what would make him even get to that level? Like, the weed shit. Smelling like weed in the house. He just got tired of that shit. He's like, man, you always doing that shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And then, you know, so he started arguing. And then I told him the same shit. I'm like, bro, you're fucking bum. And he got mad. And he was trying to fight me and shit. And then that's when I pulled strap out on him. And after I did that shit, like, I just left my mom's crib. And then I went back. Did you ever feel like, uh, like, damn, why you, like, almost like, why you choosing this dude over me? Like, nah, yeah. That's exactly how I felt. Really? For sure, for sure, yeah. Did you ever ask her that? Or tell yeah. her that? Yeah, but she, like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was just like, I was like, fuck that shit. I want to hear none of that shit, you know? I was just, fuck all that. Damn, bro, that's deep. Yeah. You said sixth grade or seventh grade is when you start, like, Smoking? It was like yeah. six, sixth grade. Do you think that, uh, like, you being more open to doing that shit? Because you say that, you like, man, ain't no big deal. Like, I'm just smoking weed, man, chill out. Like, yeah. but like, it's a bunch of sixth graders. The majority of sixth graders is like, whoa, what the fuck? fuck. Yeah. Like, these dudes in the bathroom is tripping, right? Yeah. Like, the fuck going on with them? <laughs> when y'all would be like, y'all niggas square, like, y'all skip on, yeah. on, you know? <laughs> Is it possible that your stepfather coming around or your mom's boyfriend at that time coming around and then her, quote unquote, like choosing him yeah. could have been like the cause of leaving you open to like being more susceptible to like outside influences? Like, yo, these niggas smoking in the bathroom. Fuck it. I, I'll try that shit. <laughs> like, was it yeah. like, is that the point that you start? OK, before that, yeah. were you what's your name? Your real name? Oh, Gazzy. Gazzy. Yeah. Before that was Gazzy like. A good kid, a smart kid, uh, a a kid that would be like, um, it would be a shock to people that you would end up being one of them kids in the bathroom, like, chiefing. Not really. Not really, okay. Yeah, I just started doing this because like, I was like, fuck you. Like, Got it. I'll be trying to make one. connections that's maybe not there. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, well, well, a lot of people, yeah, like, for sure. But I just, I just did that shit just because, like, I just, I wanted to smoke. I was like, fuck you. Got it. I never tried that shit, so, you know, people would be, uh, I mean, we smoked before, you know, you, know, you try that shit, you know, oh, fuck it, it's just far. Yeah, but I feel like, me personally, it's not like judging, but I feel like if I was, if I was more, uh, if I had a more stable home, put it like that, I feel like if the, if the household was more stable, yeah. I'd have been less susceptible to get into the shit that I got into. Same thing goes for my brother. Yeah. And I, it's not like I got in some deep shit, but I feel like I was more susceptible to try shit as opposed to somebody that's coming from two-parent household, stable, no problems in the house, no abusive situation. Like You know what I mean? Like So sure. I might be making connections that, that don't exist, but my thought is like, damn. Like, put it like this. My son's smoking weed in the sixth grade in the bathroom. Like. I'm feeling like, yo, what's going on? Like, we gotta talk. Like, you are going, yeah. you in going, direction. yeah, you're going in the wrong direction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you smoking cigarettes in the sixth grade in the bathroom, let alone you smoking weed. It's like, yeah. you know, it's like, where, what got you doing this? Because you said it, you seen your homeboy smoking. Yeah. It's not like you woke up one day like, like I, I wanna, wanna smoke, smoke weed yeah, today. Yeah. No, you saw your homeboys doing it and, yeah. and, and was just like, fuck it, yeah, I'll try that, boom, boom. But I feel like somebody that's coming from a healthier household, something that shit. I hope that one day I can provide for my kids. And hopefully, I hope I'm, I'm sure you probably want to provide the same type of environment for your kids one day if you plan you plan on having kids. Yeah. So it's like, hope. What I think is like from that environment, you put that same kid in that same bathroom, even if they as friends, they smoking weed. I feel like he gonna be like, I'm straight. Like I'm good. Yeah. We can still hang out. Like I ain't judging y'all, but like I'm good on that. Like I'm I'm yeah. alright. So I. I I might be, you know, I'm feel, I, sure. my bad. I'm trying to make connections that don't really go, but nah, I'm nah, hearing those, your story. Those do go. I feel like <clears throat> everything people be going through, like whatever, we, like we went through, made us who we are today. You know, like all that bullshit you go through. But if you didn't go through that shit, you wouldn't be where you are right now. Right. Probably, you know, that's how I look at it. 
That's real. Before you started rapping, like what type of music did you like? I used to listen a lot of like Chief Keef and shit. Word. Yeah. You love Chief Keef. Yeah. Fuck bro hard. <laughs> That's like who, who I looked up to and shit. I was like, man. If what I was blew, it about his shit that you like? Man, just everything. Just like Chief Keef, man, niggas crazy. Bro was lit. I don't know, it was like a whole different era he came with. Like it was just like what the fuck? Bro, it was crazy. You know? What what um you remember what grade you was in when like when that when Chief Keep got like six, sixth grade about. So before that, what did you like? Before that, I was still like. Parents, I mean, your parents were Colombia, right? So what type of music was they playing? Was it like? Nah, like I I would listen to Spanish. I like, I be bumping like Fifty Cent shit like that. So before that was Fifty. Yeah, just like oh shit, you know, um, Ludacris. Yeah. And shit like that. When Sosa came out, it was like. Oh, it's different. It's, it's crazy, yeah. And then you start rapping like, what, like ninth grade, eighth grade, something like that? Or 10th grade? Type shit, yeah. Yeah. So like that's where the style was from? Was it like based on like that drill shit? Like more like yeah. just harder Almost. shit? Yeah. It was like that. And then I'm trying to mix it up with like my own shit. Uh-huh. Then it kind of like came out. Did you ever feel like, man, them niggas is like really cut? I, I said something to you about it on Friday. Yeah. But like, yo, them dudes is really from a war zone. Like, yeah. where it's like, Shit they be talking about is like it's crazy. It's crazy, it's the, but it's it like goes down it there. really goes down. Did you ever feel like, uh, man, like, like how can I, like, basically you talk about a lot of crazy shit too, but I feel like your shit be like so exaggerated that you know, like, yo, this nigga just like, you know, he's he don't even take himself serious. You know what I mean? Like he's just fucking having fun. Yeah. But did you ever feel a conflict or like? Like, damn, I can't talk about such and such because I ain't do such and such or like, or. Yeah. Most of the time, most of the shit I talk about, I've done before. I'm talking about a lot of drugs and shit. Uh, I used to take a lot of drugs, bro. And I, I slowed down for all that bullshit, you know. That shit is, is all just a waste, bro. And I see people dying off that shit, so you know, like, fuck all that. Do you ever feel like, I asked you this on Friday, but do you ever feel like, damn, these people don't even know that, like, I got another side that's like, uh, uh, more intelligent, like they only know one side. Yeah, they one don't know. Side, yeah. I mean, I I like being turned shit. You know, it's a time and place for everything. But you know, you don't care if they if they know the other side. Yeah, I don't really care. You know, everybody's human at the end of the day. You know, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, yeah, they think I'm stupid, but I ain't stupid. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, show for show. One hundred percent. Yeah. But I seen yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like. Nah, uh, yeah. But I, I asked you the question on Friday too, like, if you are smarter than the average bear, like, you know what you're doing. You're aware of what you're doing. Yeah. My concern, if it's a kid that, that look at you like, they look up to you, you know what I mean? Like, you basically, you somebody that has an influence now. You know what I mean? Like, you somebody that sit in the seat where it's like, yo, you got this amount of kids that like, fuck with you and look up to you. Out of those kids, I think personally, now once again, it's my opinion, like, bro, I could be yeah. wrong. I think out of them kids, it's a percentage of those kids, I don't know what that percentage is, but it's a percentage of those kids that might know that you like trolling in a sense. Like, yo, he just doing wild shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because he knows that that's what the fuck this shit is about. Like, that's how, that's how you get attention. He's just a wild dude. Like, and they not taking it too serious, right? Like, oh, this nigga, this nigga sip lean. This nigga pop pills, this nigga do X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. I also think it's kids that fuck with you that are like more vulnerable, you know what I mean? They come from households like maybe like yours are even more fucked up than yours, where it's like they need guidance in a sense, you know what I mean? Oh, and, sure. and I'm not trying to say that like you supposed to be anybody's fucking the one to guide anybody, you know what I mean? You 17, yeah. but I do wonder like, damn, do you ever think about the fact that like, yo, it's kids that like, that fuck with me, and just by me promoting this shit or promoting like this side of me, and not showing them the other side that's really like yo smart and like calculated and like really, bro. You, you, to me, you strike me as somebody that's too smart to do too much. That's the impression I get from you. You know what I mean? It's like yo, like you know when to turn it on and turn it off. You know, it's like yo, like I wild out, but like I'm not gonna go this far. 
I fuck with this shit, but I'm not gonna go this far. But I feel like people don't see that side of you. You know what I mean? They all they see is like turn side. So yeah, shit, all they yeah. see is the trolling shit. So yeah. So my question to you is like, damn, do you ever think like, yo, maybe that shit is affecting them in the wrong way or like influence them in a way that's like actually like harmful to them? Nah, really. nah. I mean, I like. I stopped mourning all that bullshit like a couple months ago, you know. I mean, all that Xanax and all that bullshit, I don't be fucking none of that shit, you know. I put all that shit to the side, but not really. I don't be, you know, I don't really be thinking about that shit, you know. Oh, this is what I want to ask when I was, uh, when I was talking to you about, like, basically, like, yo, the first few songs that they go, um, and I guess the reason why I asked that, I, I wanted to get an idea like your work ethic. You know what I mean? Like when you work, what's like what's a do you are you working every day making new shit now? Or is it like, yo, you got your times where you get in? What's your work ethic like? Meaning like I give a quarter every day. Yeah, like is this shit so easy for you as like, yo, every time I go in, it's a fucking smash. Or is it like, yo, I, I really gotta go in every day and like work at this shit and like try new ideas every day? Yeah. I, like I would just say, like I was going every day, you know, just come up with new shit, different sounds, new beats. It's just I just tried to find, like, I don't know, cause all my beats be sounding different. Like 